Hi everyone, I was asked today, how can I create a sequence field on my products or any other record? Let's discover that. So this is a question that we get from time to time about existing reference that should be generated inside to do the same way as in another software or simply having a sequence field the same way as we have on the sale orders, but in different places like uh, here, the number on the sale order or like the numbers that we have also on the different inventory items. If I go uh, right there, you'll see that is something that seems to be incremented. That information, those kind of increments, you will find them in the sequences and you will see here why we have those kind of uh, internal moves here in the stock. Uh, if I have a look at the sale, once we see the sale order always uh, starts with S and then is followed by five numbers and the next one is 26. So that is really what is going to generate on our side here in the sales. Uh, if I click on new, that's why here when I doing this, it's 26. That's because I had 26 here and now going back in the sequence, now it's 27. So this is a notion of sequence, but the good thing is that you can create your own. You can go any place in Udo and create a new field that you are going to fill in automatically thanks to the notion of sequence. Let's see if we, uh, how we can do that. Uh, and I'm going to use this, maybe we can do that on a product, I think. Um, we can go in the different products here. I'm going to create a new field. Uh, I can reuse uh, or can create a new a new product and say like my uh, auto sequenced uh, product. Uh, this one, I'm not going to save it directly. Uh, in fact, maybe I shouldn't have uh, already uh, saved it because maybe I want to do it when it has a sequence, uh, when it doesn't have a sequence. But the most important part first is to create a field that will receive that sequence information. And usually that's more like a char field uh, that we need. I'm going to uh, put it here and call it um, auto sequence so that we make it clear. It doesn't matter too much. I could use that notion of SKU. I could use uh, anything else as a label. What matters here is that I know it's now X Studio auto sequence. And my goal now is to use that notion of sequence so that I'm going to uh, generate that sequence automatically. Uh, maybe also what I want to do here is as it's managed by Odoo, uh, maybe the thing I can do is just say, hey, uh, this is read only. So it's not going to be changed uh, manually by someone. It needs to be uh, selected by Odoo. So the thing that I can do now is focus on the sequence and create a new sequence um, already. Oh, I had my uh, place over there and I'm going to say uh, product sequence. It's just a name. I don't mind too much. Uh, what's really important is the notion of sequence code. And I call that product uh, sequence because I'm going to reuse that. There's a notion in Odoo where you can call a sequence by its name and give it uh, and, and pass that information, that, that sequence code, so that we can find the right sequence and the next number that we need. And I'm going to select here prefix and I'm going to say PRO for product, uh, maybe no suffix, sequence size, it will be uh, five as well. And I'm going to start with the first step. Important as well um, here, it's a sequence that is going to be just prefix, then a, um, a number, and that would be it. Very important if you want to create your own uh, sequence method, like different prefix, different suffix, concatenation of different information inside the product, then the sequences are maybe not the tool that you are uh, looking for. Then it's maybe better to create a dedicated automated action or dedicated uh, server action for this later. Now let's have a look at how we can reuse that sequence information and create a part of a code in the automated actions to uh, generate that. What I can do is go uh, right there in the automated actions over here, automated actions, where are you? Uh, automation rules, all right. And I'm going to say that when I want to create um, a new product or when I save one where there's no information in the sequence, I'm going to create a sequence. So let's go there and say uh, auto add sequence. And this, it will be done on the product template. I could work on the product product if I want. That's uh, maybe some information or some uh, improvement that you would like to add. I'm going to say on save and I'm adding a new rule saying that if there is no uh, auto sequence, let's try to find yeah my field XStudio uh, auto sequence. I'm already uh, copy pasting that uh, small mistake here. Uh, new rule, this one. Okay. And if it's not set, 
and you see I have many records, then when I'm saving, I would like to uh, do something. And that something is very important because I need now to execute code. And there is where I'm going to start to look for information in GitHub to find what I can call in terms of uh, uh, sequence and how I can perform this uh, small uh, part of the code that I need. In order to do this, maybe first thing I need to do is um, say what is a sequence and in Odoo, a notion of sequence is simply an IR sequence object. So, uh, and then what we need to do is call the sequence and try to find the next uh, thing that we want in terms of code. Uh, I'm going to have my code here. And I think that here, if I remember well, that's something that I remember, but uh, if you need to know how it is done, maybe let's, let's show. Uh, not the easy version of that, but uh, how we can find it uh, if you know the name of the of the object. Uh, I was going to say, I think there's something that is called next by code that allows you to find uh, the, the next sequence that we want according to the code that we have on the sequence. But let's not even talk about that and let's show how we could find information here in the sequence. Um, you see, it's not like super big. There are only 400 uh, lines of code. And if you want to, uh, here I think it's next by a code, yeah, that's what I would need. Uh, it's a model thing, so it's going to be applied not on the record only, but on the model. So I can say uh, here that if I want to have um, a sequence uh, giving me the next number uh, for, the, for the sequence, I can just send it the sequence code and that um, method is going to give it to me. So this means that I can reuse this next by code method uh, going, I think it was there, yes, and say um, next by code and ask him a bunch of code and then I will get the code. Um, what matters at the moment is the sequence code that I have, that is product sequence here. Um, as I have copy pasted uh, the information that I needed, ah, yeah, it was next by code, I will come back to this later. Uh, I have my product sequence here. I can finish this by saying, okay, this is my code and uh, this is what I will store in my variable about. Uh, the code that I will reuse. And then the next thing I need to do is say that I want to write on my record. So that's how I will do it. I will uh, update my record, giving it a bit of information. And I think it's better to do it that way, saying that now the X Studio, I think it was auto sequence, the value of that should be the code that I just retrieved right now. I can save that and just test it. Maybe there's an error. Uh, I don't care if there's one, I will uh, debug that with you. Let's go there, that sequence is existing. I can create a new product now. Uh, it's not only about the creation, by the way, I think it's also about uh, the fact that the product uh, is saved. And if it's saved without any information and I can reuse my uh, sequence one, if I change just the price, then now I didn't get any error. You, s you don't see the field, that's simply because I think I need to refresh my view. Uh, right there, you see uh, it's um, PRO002. And if I create a new one, or, or even if I duplicate this one, you see it's PRO003, even if it's just a copy. That's simply because that sequence is working fine, thanks to that part of the code. So here, as I said, uh, very important, it's working with the sequence notion of Odoo. If you need to create your own sequence, you can elaborate something that is similar, but where you are going to here define how you want to create your sequence. And that would be it. That's it.